The title is not clickbait at all. And I'll give you guys one guess who is uh, responsible for this. So yeah, I'm missing a front tooth. And uh, this story is uh, not too funny for me. So uh, Jerkface Jr. is in big trouble. He's actually hiding. You guys probably can't see him. But he is hiding way back over here somewhere. I just seen him. And he knows not to come around me. So you guys are probably looking at me and thinking, hey, that's that dude from that show, uh, Tiger King. I'm not too proud of showing people uh, when I'm missing a tooth, but these two front teeth right here, I actually have posts from my original teeth. And I have two porcelain veneers made. So tomorrow, I'm gonna be making a trip to the dentist. And thankfully, my tooth veneer was just knocked off. It was not uh, chipped or broke. So uh, I'll be making a trip to the dentist to get that fixed. And uh, somebody's gonna be for sale real soon. And um, <laughs> let's get to the story. So I came home from school and, uh, or I came home after school from picking the kids up from school. And uh, not over here in this field, not over there in that field, but down our driveway, this is hard to talk. I, I kind of feel how uh, Mike Tyson feels now. It's kind of hard to talk. And I know everybody's laughing at me too. So that's, I wasn't going to make this video. And uh, I finally just decided, you know what? You want reality. You want the truth. Here you go. You got the truth. <laughs> oh boy. There's no daisy. So anyways, I come home from picking the kids up from school. And Mr. Jerkface Jr., was down our driveway like he was over like three different fences from where he's normally at and what he was doing is he was in the uh i gotta put this tooth in hold on a second hopefully i don't lose it i can't i can't hardly talk and it i i sat here and thought about this for a while about making this video because when it happened i was super mad that's a little better hopefully i don't lose it or uh Swallow it. Alright, that's better. So, if you guys have teeth or anything that's missing, you know what kind of a pain it is. Uh, wow. Anyways, I came home. Jerkface Jr. was out, so I tried to catch him. I could not catch him. I always pick up this stick. This is a stick that my uh, brother-in-law made with the uh, kids a couple years back. It's just like a walking stick or something. They, they use it when they go walking out in the woods or hiking and stuff. And it's painted so he actually can see it and when i when i raise it up in the air he usually takes off running because i have thrown it at him many times just like his dad he is very frustrating and he's not a very easy goat to uh raise he jumps this fence like no other i've never had a goat that would just jump the fence and right now he's on the uh kind of on the skinny side because he's well into breeding season he's been going strong for over a month now so he's lost a lot of weight i need to put him on some feed but he's going to be going he's going to be coming up for sale like immediately and if i don't find someone to buy him really quick he's going to be going to the auction because i'm not going to put up with the goat jumping the fences and uh what happens is he'll start jumping the fences and then some of these other goats will see him do it and they'll start doing it and then you'll have a bad habit that is almost impossible to break and uh we don't want that here so speaking of the devil you better not get too close to me bud I'm not too happy with you right now yep he is the one responsible so, I don't remember if I said this earlier or not. I know a lot of you are thinking I look just like the guy from that stupid show on Netflix, The Tiger King. I know how he feels now. And uh, I do not want to go through that. Let me see if, how close I can get to him over here. He ain't scared of me now, I don't guess. Yeah, there he goes. You better not be jumping no fences. Anyways, guys, I was going to make this short little video to show you guys how ridiculous I look with a missing front tooth. Um, so a little backstory. I'm going to put this camera down. Uh, a little backstory. About 13 years ago, I got my two front teeth knocked out. 
and that is when I got these little uh, veneers here. So I still got my original teeth as posts and they got a lot of glue on them and they're holding these uh, veneer caps on or whatever you call it. So I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna talk to the dentist and try to get some like permanent crowns or something because I don't like dealing with this. This, they, this isn't the first time I've actually had them knocked off. One time Rachel bought me some uh, exotic animal jerky and I think it had like kangaroo had alligator and all different kinds of stuff in it different meat that was made in the jerky and uh i opened it up grabbed the first one i tried to open it with my teeth and it popped right off so this is like the third time i've done this but anyways i finally got him to jump back into our property over the fence onto our property and he was in the pen with the kiko pygmies and we can't have that because he actually has some daughters over there and we don't want him breeding them. So I was like, I got to get him out of there. So I immediately went out there and chased him around. I grabbed a stick because usually when he sees me grab the stick, uh, he'll jump out into our little apple orchard over where the pawpaw trees are and all that. He'll see this stick in my hand and he'll immediately just jump back over here over the fence. Well, this time one of those girls over there must be uh, ready to breed or something because all he wanted to do is run around and uh, he didn't want to jump back over the fence and come over here. So I finally chased him around, chased him around, and I got him cornered into the barn. Well, he jumped up on the nesting box in the barn trying to hide from me. I seen him go in the barn, and when I walked in the barn, I couldn't find him at first. He was up in the air on the nesting box. Like, I don't know how he jumped up there. So I couldn't do anything but laugh. I was like, wow, he is crazy. So I pulled my phone out, and... Um, if you guys don't know about this, there is a uh, thing on YouTube called Stories where creators on their channel, they can take a little picture, they can take a little short video clip, and they can add it as a story on their channel. And you just go to their homepage, you go to YouTube, type in your favorite channel, whatever, Hidden Heights Farm, go to our homepage. And our logo, if it has a red ring around it, you can click on that and it will show you the story. I think they stay up for like seven days. So if you do that right now, go to our homepage and uh, click on our story or on our logo and you'll see what I'm talking about because I pulled my phone out when I seen him and I took a little video of a story and that was right before I lost my tooth. <laughs> so I was in a little better mood. I was actually really mad because he wouldn't quit running from me. But when he did this, I got really mad. Anyways, I grabbed him off of the nesting box, grabbed him by the horns and uh, jerked him out of the barn. And I wrestled him to the gate. When I got to the gate, I was trying to hold him and open the gate latch to get him out of the gate. Because I knew once I got him out of the gate, he would run and jump the fence to get back into here. Well, he he wrestled me and he jumped up and jumped up in one of his horns, come up and hit me right in the tooth and actually knocked that tooth right off. So, that's the story on that. And then immediately he knew I was super mad. I had to stick... And if he would have been in uh, distance, I might, I might have uh, whopped him with it a time or two. But he took off running. He jumped the fence over right by the beehives. And guess what? That's not the end of the story. His back leg got hung up in the fence. So he's sitting there with his back leg stuck in the fence. And he's crying, crying. And then he sees me coming to help him. He starts going crazy because he knew I had to stick and I was probably going to beat him with it. Um, I didn't beat him with it, even though I was, uh, pretty upset and pretty mad. I got him loose because I didn't want him to break, him lay, break his leg or anything else because I don't feel like butchering no goat tonight. It's, uh, actually one of the warmer days of the week and it's not, a uh, ideal time to do that. So I didn't want to have to get out the knife and butcher him, but I was mad enough I could have done it. I promise you that. I would have done it and ground him up and put him in the freezer. And he better not get out anymore, but yeah. If you guys are interested, if you know anyone interested in this uh, Kiko buck, hit me up because he's going to be for sale very, very quick. Like any day, I will sell him. Um, he's already been running with these goats over here long enough this season that they all should be bred. They all should have uh, cycled by now. It's been a couple months since the first one starts cycling. And usually once the first one starts cycling, two months or so, then all your does are usually covered if you got a good breeding buck in there with them so anyways guys i'm going to have some videos come out after this video this just happened this evening 
Rachel just got home from work and uh, looked at me and she knew I was upset and I said, you know what, I think I'm going to make a video over this just because it's, it's crazy, it's something totally weird, but it happened, it's reality. It's kind of embarrassing, I know, because my tooth looks weird because it's got all that glue and stuff on it, but it is what it is. So here you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to get this... Uh, I'm gonna get this video wrapped up so I can take it in. I shouldn't have to edit any because I've been sitting here talking to you guys. I just wanted to show you what it looks like when a goat knocks your tooth out. <laughs> if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Stay tuned to see what happens to Jerkface Jr. If I get my tooth fixed, hopefully I can uh, work get worked in tomorrow. If I don't lose this thing, these little veneers aren't uh, cheap. It's like 700 bucks. So, there you go. If you're interested in a uh, stubborn goat that likes to uh, make you mad, hit me up because he is going to be for sale. And uh, I can, I think I can blame all this on Daniel Arms because he's the one that we actually bought him from. <laughs> so thanks a lot, Daniel. Guys, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time. What are you doing, Daisy? You protecting that goat? Huh? You protecting her? You're funny. <laughs>